Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you for viewing. Uh, today I am going to demonstrate one full round, or maybe a couple, of sun salutation. In Sanskrit it's called Surya Namaskar. And this Saturday I am offering a wonderful event, an opportunity to participate in a very auspicious event, or maybe it can be more of a mental determination <laughs> event. It is 108 Sun Salutation. Uh, I term this event, well, it's been done before. Um, it's called Yoga Mala. And the reason why it's called Yoga Mala is because uh, according to some Hindu religions, even um, Buddhist religions or uh, philosophy, they have what's called um, prayer beads that a lot of us wear around the neck, but actually they're to be placed in our hand and there's 108 beads that are strung on a thin thread and um, enclosed like a necklace. So that's why you'll often see it worn as um, more for style, <laughs> but actually these are um, prayer beads and there's 108 beads that go all the way around. Um, in some traditions, uh, they will hold it a certain way with their ring finger, middle finger, or even index finger. So it really all depends um, which rooted background, um, you know, that will decide how you'll be initiating the structure of your prayer. So instead of using the beaded necklaces that we often see with the tassel at the end, we are going to use our body as a thread. And the bowing ritual is going to demarcate us as if it was like one bead on a string of, um, on a string of um, you know, the mala beads, the beads, uh, the seeds itself. Okay, so I am going to demonstrate a one round, <laughs> maybe I'll do a few, like I said, of Surya Namaskar, Sun Salutation. And um, I'll guide you through it. So we first begin in a standing position, mountain pose, also known as Samastitihi, also known as Tadasana or Tardasana, which means mountain pose. Samastitihi means equal standing. You're welcome to join your toes to touch or bring your feet hip width distance apart. Whatever stance feels most comfortable in your body. Arms along the side of the body, shoulders back, chin nicely level. Watch the cadence of your own breath and see if you can sew the breath into your practice. Inhale, arms up, palms can press or be open, look up towards the thumbs. Hinge, dive, forward fold. Feel free to bend your knees any amount, touch the ground, drop your head down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, land into your hands, shoulder width distance apart. Step back into the top of the plank. To modify, I'll begin with modification. You can bring your knees down. You can also choose to change the pose from Ashtam, um, to Chaturanga Dandasana to Ashtangasana, which is an eight limb pose. Toes can touch, tailbone lifts up, shoulders back, elbows back. Lead the chest down between the hands. Slide your heart forward. Point your toes into Cobra. Exhale. You can feel free to take your hips back, head down. You can stay here for five breaths or you can tuck your toes, land into your feet and hands, and five breaths here. Lift up your heels, bend your knees, come forward. Inhale, lengthen the torso, halfway flat back. Exhale, bow into a forward fold. Inhale, reach up towards the sky, palms press. And exhale, arms down to your side. This is just one variation. As you can see, I initiated the child's pose into this round. 
making it more of a sustaining and accessible uh, round of sun salutation. Inhale, arms up. Here is another variation. Exhale, dive into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, top of the plank. You can bring the knees down, but you're not bending the spine. You're keeping the plank. Lead your chest forward so the elbows bend into a 90 degree angle. Inhale into cobra. You can just lay your body down, or you can push your hands. Slide your hips slightly forward and lift up into up dog as you land into the tops of your feet. Belly is toned, legs are strong. Squeeze the belly in, send the hips back. Land into your hands and feet. You can also still come down, rest in child's pose. Or you can choose to stay in downward facing dog. Traditionally, you're here about five to 10 breaths. When you're done with the last exhale, you start to lift up your heels, bend your knees, take a big inhale as you come forward, and exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees any amount as feel safe in the body. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, arms down. Again, inhale, adding more different variations here. Inhale, halfway lift. You can step back. Lower the knees down, chaturanga. Inhale into up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Five breaths here. However, in the Yoga Mala event, the 108 Sun Salutations, it can be just fine if you wanted to skip the full five round of breaths here. I may in fact encourage it so we can um, have enough time to do all 108. And then start to prep, lift up your heels. You can walk forward or try hopping forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the thigh is another option. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. More advanced variation, you hop back into bent elbows. Inhale into up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feel free to choose five rounds of breath or just shorten. And start to lift up your heels, bend your knees, come forward. Halfway lift and exhale, bow into a forward fold. Inhale, reach up towards the sky, palms pressed. And exhale, arms down to the side. You can also use blocks in your practice. Just have them nearby at the top of your mat. Nicely placed, shoulder width distance apart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, land your blocks flat, step back, top of the plank. Knees can come down, bend the elbows. Inhale into up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stacking the shoulders a little bit more forward will be a lot more um, easier on the shoulders. Less weight bearing as to being all the way back with the shoulders here. Lift up the heels, bend the knees, come forward, inhale, lengthen the spine. You can bring your blocks. High level, lowest level, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up. 
and exhale on your sand. So hopefully this demo was able to provide you visually different variations that you can experiment with and try to offer yourself a way to have a more sustaining practice so you can finish 108 sun salutations. Um, know that all you have to do for this event is show up. I will go through some of these variations. You will run through maybe about half together. And if you're done at that point, um, congratulate yourself for a oh, job well done. It really isn't about being able to do everything in such a strong manner. It really is more like being able to flow and make wise decisions for yourself along the process. So it is a beautiful way I feel to bring in the new year. Um, this is not a new thing. Um, this is traditionally done uh, all over the world actually. And um, if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. This is a donation-based event. All most of the proceeds will go to um, St. Anne's Family Services, which is a foster care um, facility that houses um, foster children and foster young mothers. Okay, so thank you so much for listening, and um, hopefully this video helps you. Namaste.